Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start with the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before starting with this episode, allow me to start as usual with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs and Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam who says, Beware that the need of people to go to you is among the blessings of God to you. So do not scare away the needy people when they come to you as God's blessing will return and go elsewhere. Sadly, our respected viewers, there are certain things in Islamic history that many have attempted to bury throughout the centuries. For example, it is well known among the Shia that the Messenger of Allah clearly appointed Ali bin Abi Talib as his successor, not just on the day of Ghadir, but on many, many occasions throughout his blessed life. Yet there are numerous people throughout history who have tried to obscure this fact from the masses, although our opponents have more narrations attesting to this matter than even we do. Our respected viewers, the knowledge of Imam al husseins martyrdom, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, is the same way. His brutal murder was anticipated with the Prophet's very lifetime, and many narrations from all sects attest to this fact. Yet to this day, our opponents try to obscure the truth of the matter. Thus, every Shia is tasked with an important obligation to correct the historical record and set the matter Hussein's martyrdom straight such that none would dare to refute it. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for today. Thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.